The Stellar Blade reviews have officially dropped and we've got a pretty favorable score. But with that said, as expected, we have some comments from different publication sites that were just so predictable. And IGN being one of those websites that gave an interesting discussion in terms of how they felt about the game, but the score not reflecting the review that they wrote. Now, before we get into all of this, you guys can do me a huge favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and share the video to keep this community growing. Now let's talk about Stellar Blade. So it currently sits at an 82 on Metacritic with 84 positive reviews and 12 mixed reviews, zero negative at the moment. I imagine that more reviews will be flowing in, but this is probably close to where the score will end up sitting. And so it makes you wonder, what do these reviews say? Well, we've got three sites to go over that say some pretty interesting things that make me scratch my head a little bit. So let's just dive right into it, starting with one of their statements saying, this is a gorgeous action game with excellent character and monster design and exciting combat that continues to evolve in fun and interesting ways across the 30 hour adventure. So a very positive statement, right? A very glowing statement here. Their negative says, its story, light RPG elements, and the actual substance of its characters, on the other hand, fall well short of the high mark set by its combat. And okay, that, that's an okay statement. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But the last sentence here, Stellar Blade certainly isn't pristine, and in some spots it's positively dull, but it's sharp in the areas that matter most. Now, when you read that, right off the bat, I'm thinking, wow, well, the, surely this is a good review you know some criticisms that are going to be had with pretty much any game but when you go down to the score it's a 7 out of 10 now if you read this review it doesn't read like a 7 out of 10 it doesn't read it like somebody who thought okay this is just a good game no this person is stating excellent character and monster design gorgeous action game exciting combat that evolves in fun and interesting ways across 30 hour adventure do you realize how good your gameplay has to be to evolve constantly over 30 hours that that's not a small thing to accomplish sure the story may not be the deepest story in the world but that's preference naturally light rpg elements okay that could be 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 an argument there and the substance of its characters could mean many different things i don't feel that they really highlight what they mean specifically by that whereas i think that it very much has to do with eve's character design as ign france actually you know stated many colorful things about uh, stellar blades uh, director so it's one of those things where i think you got to read in between the lines here i don't think ign is saying exactly what they want to say because they saw what happened to ign france it was not a, a normal response there was massive backlash towards him so instead of just saying it plainly there's kind of saying it without saying it so i feel that they kind of came at this unfairly and I don't think they reviewed it based on its merits as a video game 100%. I do feel like there was a, a bit of an agenda here, but uh, it is what it is, right? I mean, they're going to review it the way they want to review it. A 7 out of 10, while it is a good score, I think it deserves more than a 7 out of 10. Mind you, the argument could be that I haven't played the game, but when you look at the reviews across the board, you know, an 80, 82, 83 on Metacritic and then IGN's given it a 7, it's sus. It really is suspicious, right? But let's talk about the other two review sites that uh, had some interesting things to say. As we said, these are things that I fully expected, a lot of us expected. Player 2 said, While discussion is sure to be dominated by the sexualization of lead character Eve, looking past that, Stellar Blade provides a solid action experience for fans of the Souls-like genre. And it's interesting when they say looking past that because their score does not seem to reflect that. They gave it a 67. To me, if you are highlighting a solid action game experience, it wouldn't be a 67. Because 67, we're bordering on, okay, this is an okay game. This is not a good game, it's an okay game. And when we're getting there, these words don't line up with the score. Again, making me feel like while they seem to make you want to think that they're not thinking about the quote-unquote sexualization of the lead character it very much is a part of why they scored it the way they did and then we can also look at the sixth axis who also gave an interesting review here they scored it a 70 out of 100 or 7 out of 10 
but their description is interesting. They say Stellar Blade is a pretty enjoyable game to swing your hairband sword at, so as long as you don't mind the obvious sexualization. There's a few rough areas, but nothing to spoil things overall, and there's plenty of interesting story to uncover as you fight your ways through giant monsters with circular saws for heads and weird tentacles for legs. So again, these words are not lining up with the experience and the score, right? These are like if, if you had a good experience, enjoyable game, you know, it's got interesting story points to uncover, you know, it's got great gameplay. How can you sit there and not, you know, let the score reflect that? But it's obvious the reason is the political side of things. Now, unfortunately, guys, I hate to say it, but this is pretty much what you can expect in the games industry. Uh, it, there's going to be political agendas. Obviously, the, politics is a part of uh, the human nature in a lot of ways, and people reflect that in their work. Whether you like that or not is definitely up to you, and you're allowed to voice that, but you got to expect that these people are going to do that. While I think that you should judge a game off its merits in terms of its gameplay, its music, its story, you know, these different types of things that you would want from a video game, uh, not everybody uh, is going to do that. Unfortunately, some of these Western sites also don't account for culture, uh, the culture behind these games that, you know, having beautiful women, having sex appeal in a video game or with your character is not frowned upon in every region, right? Korea may not view it that way. Japan may not view it that way. So I think you also need to embrace different cultures as well, as long as it's not in a toxic nature, which I don't feel Stellar Blade is. I do feel like it's a creation of passion. I think that the team that made it, especially based on the dev diaries, has shown that these people love what they're working on and they truly put their hearts into this project. And it was very much not about maliciously getting people to buy this game based on uh, Eve's appearance. Needless to say, none of these scores surprise me. I'm curious where this will sit. I'm thinking it'll probably end up staying close to an 82, 83, maybe an 81 if if some more bad reviews come in. But obviously, uh, there's still a lot of time left to get more reviews. And I think it'll be interesting for sure uh, to see what the conversation around this game is. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of all these reviews. As always, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you did not enjoy the video, hit the dislike button, subscribe if you're new and share the video to keep this community growing. I thank you all for all of your support. Take care.